So open up a new project, make it a new empty project. We will change its name so that it's small tactics. Missing a C there. You can uh, change the description if you want, add an author there if you want. Right there, it's me at the moment. Set your email, etc. We will change the size of the project to 512 by 512. And there, in the full screen in browser, we will change to off. The window size there is the little dash, as you can see, and will be our final rendering screen size. We go in the layout, we'll change its name to game, and change its size to 512 by 512 as well. The same size since we won't have any kind of scrolling. There, just quickly changing the event sheet name to ES game. I will change a few things in the layers. Add, uh, I've changed the name of the layer zero to back. Add another layer that we will name cell and add a last layer that we will name transition. We select back again, double click in the layout view and double click on sprite. Open and where we have all our graphics for the game, pick woodroom, this one. Then we position at 256 by 256 and rename to backdrop. This is simply the backdrop of our game. And from now on, we normally don't need to add anything to the back layer. So simply lock it. This way I can select it again and I can double click to add more things. Let's select now the cells layer and double click to add a new sprite. Open and take the back cell. We will need there a little trick. We will snap to grid and the grid will be 32 by 32, which will suit our current um, resolution, if you want. The way the the game has been uh, designed. Name this to back cell and this will be actually so hold down the control key and simply drag drop the plugin the current object to make new instances of the object. So now we have our back cells. Let's add a new sprite yet again. Right click import sprite strip, select cell sh sheet 0 and this sheet is actually 4 by 4 so delete our first frame delete the number 3 as well and we can delete all the others too to only have those four frames. Select again the default animation and change its speed property to zero. This will be our cell. And for the cell we will need to add an instance variable, actually two instances variable. XC and YC. We position it over the back cells and there modify and change the X to 1 and change here to 2. Then you can select again as you can see it's the cell which is selected since it's over the back cell. By 
holding down the control key you can select several instances and yet again control holding down the control key and drag dropping I'm making new instances and as they are selected I can change the value for the Y right here control and drag drop again and 2 so this way I have a cell of x0 y0 and right there it's x2 y2 this will be a way for us to know in what at in what cell of the grid our pawns if you will our pieces will be and talking about the pieces that's what we are adding now add yet another sprite and pick the gem add import frames and pick the other one and like before change the speed of the animation to zero this is our piece and it will have different instance variables we will have a cur x a cur y next x and a next y and finally moved which will be a boolean and by default it will be false and will be changed to true once the game piece will have reached from its cur x and cur y the next x and next y those are not the x and y from our cells but the actual x position in the layout it's a bit tricky we will understand a bit later while doing the code so let's add also a behavior which will be a fade behavior but won't be active at start otherwise zero it's nice hold down the control key drag drop put it in our last cell and change the initial frame to one and so we have our two game pieces from now add yet another sprite object import frames we'll have the text player one white the text player to white and the text resolution those three elements change once again the speed to zero position it on top in the middle which is made easier since we are snapping to grid and change to take state infos and yet another sprite again import frames and this one will take the cost pieces change the speed to zero and this won't appear on screen right now so let's position it outside of our layout change the name to ghost piece change its opacity to 40 and that's all we need to do on this for now if I'm previewing right now as you can see there is a bug in Firefox that makes on some configuration the game disappear a slight uh, little trick if you will is to have some objects that is going to be moving or needs to be redrawn every frames so I'm adding yet another sprite and this one will, will only there for this little bug in preview I think in the exported game there isn't an issue so let's have it in green we'll change it 
to line and add it a sign behavior which may, will make it move all the time continuously in vertical and if I preview again no more issue even though I'm not having an action from my user or there isn't something on screen that is being redrawn but the simple fact to have this object outside of our layout is doing the trick of fixing this display bug and so that's our current layout at the moment we'll then now turn to the transition layer be sure to select it once again add a new sprite and this one will be yet another 16 by 16 and this time it will be black paint it move it over the region of our layout and change the opacity to 60 at first I went to full black but it was actually a game design decision to make it appear a bit more to be a bit transparent so that we can still see the current situation as we are transitioning from a player to another so let's name this transition we need to add yet another sprite this time I will import frames again it's the players one turn, players one win players two turn, player two win text resolution and text computer and we will need to move them a bit so the player turn is one let me just resize this the player two turn is frame one so zero we have player one turn player two turn computer's turn nice then player one wins player two wins and resolution this is the correct order and by default we want the speed to be zero again move it to the center a bit up it's a bit nicer I think and text a transit transition and add yet another sprite this time it will be the go then we there we will need to change set collision polygon right click and set to bounding box as you can see now it's a bit bigger otherwise you could have issues while trying to click if you will on the go whereas now with this area it will really work every time change the name to go and here you have it I precisely set the go I item to go in the left uh, in the right bottom corner because as we are going to use and we can add it right now actually the touch plugin if the go was for example placed over here it would register that you are touching clicking on go and also on the piece that is going to be under it so right now as you can see we have our layer transition on top it's a bit bothering so just hide it and from there you can't select anymore what's on it and if you need to change something just make it visible again as you can see this icon there and so yeah I would click on the go it would change the player's turn and would also select this cell or this cell for example or worth both which is not at all what we want so by placing it over here I'm sure that no other active element will be clicked on and that only really the go is uh, the go touch is registered 
there are ways to go over this but it's kind of the simplest in this very situation so don't ever hesitate to use those kind of tricks last, last thing there the initial visibility of the txt infos would have to be set to invisible and that's about it for how we set our project